Hi, I'm Scott Willison, owner of the Confluence Fly Shop in Bellingham, Washington. Uh, today we're going to tie a fun little streamer pattern that I've uh, been having a lot of success with the last couple of years. Uh, this is Matt Bennett's uh, Lunch Money Streamer. Uh, I've been fishing this on a lot of local lakes for bass, uh, particularly on Lake Whatcom for smallmouth. Um, I've fished it in the Skagit for, for bull trout. Great little versatile streamer pattern that uh, catches a lot of fish. Um, today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite smallmouth colors. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty easy fly to tie. And we're going to go ahead and get started here. So in my vise I have a size 2 Gamagatsu B10S. And I'm just laying down a little base here of some fluorescent orange 140 denier ultra thread uh, started our thread up at the head here we're gonna put on a size medium lead eye painted red here and we'll just figure out wrap that in Just doing some X wraps to lock this into place. Going to make sure to go around the base several times and compress those thread wraps. A very durable fly that will hold up to a lot of fish, but that, that is kind of the weak link. If you don't get your eyes seated properly, they will spin on you, and then it's just a matter of time before the, the rest of the fly comes apart. So we've got those on there pretty good. And we'll go ahead and take our thread back to the the rear of the fly. Now for the, the tail and the part of the body as well, we're going to use a, uh, a brown barred yellow rabbit strip. Um, these are zonker strips from Hairline. Uh, the code on this is BRS383B. And you can see here I've already kind of tapered the the leather of the rabbit down to a fine point and we're going to measure out I want this about as long as the hook shank for the tail and it's probably tough to see what I'm doing but I'm just piercing that rabbit hide in the in the center And then I'm going to go ahead and invert the, the hook for the moment here. So I've got the rabbit hide pierced on the, on the hook. I'm going to take several firm wraps of, of thread just to lock this into place here. And then once I've got that down, We'll go ahead and take our thread up to just behind the eyes. Um, I'm then going to take the remainder of this rabbit strip. You want to make sure not to, not to cut that off. And we're just going to wind this up. To roughly behind the eyes. I think I, I left myself just enough rabbit strip to work with. I've got two or three wraps to lock that into place. And then I'm going to move my thread to in front of it so I don't cut the thread when I trim the hide. And then we'll trim away that that rabbit hide and we are ready for the next step um, so I'm going to add some rubber legs to this um, these are the black barred clear chartreuse uh, grizzly flutter legs from hairline um, one of the things I love about this fly is you can really kind of go all over the place as far as uh, uh, color combos so I'll tie it sometimes in Natural olives and, and tans uh, makes a really good sculpin imitation. Um, 
some of these brighter colors work particularly well for, for smallmouth, especially anything with yellow in it. Um, so I've got two uh, full-length rubber legs here. I'm going to go ahead and pull those apart, and then I'll start by doing the, the legs on the near side. I've just folded the, the legs around my thread. And then I've got them locked into place on one side there. Go ahead and do the same thing on the far side of the hook. So fold those legs around the, the thread, lock them into place behind the eyes. And we'll worry about trimming those at the at the end here. Um, Next, we are going to go ahead and construct our, our head, which is going to be um, made out of uh, Senyo's laser dub. I'm going to start with yellow for the top. I'm going to do uh, some fluorescent chartreuse on the bottom. And then we're going to give uh, kind of some, some cheeks to this fly, too, using the hot orange. Um, so the key with this stuff is... Don't use too much. So I've I've got enough here, really for both both stages of the fly. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set some of that aside, and then I'm just kind of using my hands to to hand straighten that out there. And position that roughly in the center of the material. Take a couple tight wraps over it. And then I've got half of it facing rearward, half of it facing forward. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the same thing with some chartreuse here. Get that evened out. Bind that down, and then I can sweep everything back and take a wrap or two in front of it. And then for these cheeks, I'm going to use about a third of the amount of material that I that I used for the rest of rest of it, and we're going to position that just kind of. over the eyes and then we can fold that back these just add a little little bit of contrast to the fly could also look like gills flaring on a sculpin or bait fish pattern that side back and then we'll go ahead and move our thread up to in front of the eyes. Take the, the rest of our yellow here that I've already pre-stacked. Two or three wraps to lock that into place. some chartreuse get that all evened up Just build up a neat little head there. Fold 
four turn whip finish. Cut our thread. We're going to trim our legs here. And I want these legs just about even with the end of the um, with the leather on the rabbit strip there. Um, then I'm going to take my uh, my ultimate dubbing brush here, and we'll just comb everything out. And and those lead eyes are going to flip the fly. So the other advantage of this one, it's going to ride hook point up. Um, so it'll get you through the, the rocks and sometimes woody, woody debris without fouling up quite so badly. But uh, a lot of bang for your buck with this one. Uh, relatively inexpensive to tie. Uh, you can mass produce these and it is not heartbreaking when you lose the occasional fly or two um, fishing around structure where the, the bass tend to be. Uh, there you have it, Bennett's Lunch Money Streamer. Um, you can pick up the materials for this and many other flies at the Confluence Fly Shop in Bellingham, Washington. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for, for more great videos on, on tying local patterns. And uh, we will see you on the water. Thanks for watching.